I know who is going to win this weekend at Darlington in the NASCAR throwback race. It's throwback weekend for the NASCAR Cup Series and the Xfinity Series and the Truck Series, and I got my Jeff Gordon retro shirt on, got a 1990 Jeff Gordon hat on. He's my favorite driver. And here are my top predictions and picks for this weekend's race at Darlington. Darlington is one of the best tracks on the circuit. It's a true driver's track, and it takes immense skill to get around this basically odd-shaped paper clip style of track because turn one and two are a lot different than turn three and four. Let's get into my picks for the Goodyear 400. Let's take some things into consideration. Five different drivers have won at Darlington in the last five races, so really it's kind of anybody's game. Toyota has won four out of the last eight, and Chevy has won once out of the last 12. And the last three Darlington winners got their first win of the season at Darlington. Let's recap last year's throwback race at Darlington. I'll give you some insights on my picks. Obviously, Joey Logano was a fan favorite leading 107 laps and ultimately winning the race. So I'd put him up there in my top drivers to watch. The second driver I wanna watch is Denny Hamlin. After winning at Kansas, I think Denny Hamlin could come back and do back-to-back -back victories here in the Cup Series to staple his chance to possibly win that championship that he may or may never get. Another driver I would pay very close attention to is Martin Truex Jr. Last season, he had a great race at Darlington, leading 30 laps, and he's on a good trend this year. He already has that win, so he's going to be locked into the playoffs, so he's going to try to staple his chance to possibly progress and move his way higher into the playoff seating. Now, even though Chevrolet has only won once out of the last 12 times at Darlington, you cannot count out Hendrick Motorsports and what they've been able to do a mile and a half this year. William Byron won at Vegas, and they've run up front a good portion of the time on mile and a half. So if I had to pick any driver to bounce back, it would actually be Kyle Larson. Another driver that switched teams going into 2023 that you definitely need to pay attention to this weekend at Darlington is that number eight of Kyle Busch. Here's why. Last year at Darlington, Tyler Reddick finished second in the race. He started 10th and led 10 laps. He found his way up to second at the end stages of the race last year. Now, with Kyle Busch already getting a win on the season at Auto Club, I would put him up pretty high on that list to potentially win at Darlington. Uh, even though last year's race at Darlington wasn't really strong for him, he got involved in some instances. He did lead 19 laps, and he was fifth at one point in time at the beginning of the race. So I would actually move his stock pretty high. So my top five drivers to watch for this weekend's race to potentially win are as follows. Number one, I'm going to put Denny Hamlin up there. I think he's on a streak. I think he's going to get into rhythm. I think he could win. Second, put Kyle Busch up there as well. Third, Kyle Larson. Kyle Larson wants to redeem himself after Kansas, and he pretty much is going to be pretty... Pretty, pretty good. That's all I got to say. He's going to be pretty good. Fourth, watch out for Joey Logano slash Martin Truex Jr. Uh, they kind of teeter in that fourth spot. Now, my wild card pick for the weekend is pretty surprising, I have to say. It's going to be the 31 car of Justin Haley. Here's why. Justin Haley has been running up front at these bigger racetracks this year. I mean, obviously, take a look at Atlanta and Talladega and Daytona. But if you remember, last year's strategy got him into the third position. Watch out for that 31 to potentially staple his position into the playoffs. And those are my top five picks. Hamlin, Bush, Larson, Logano slash Truex, and Justin Haley. If you enjoyed the video, hit that subscribe button. I heard YouTube kind of likes that a little bit. I would love for you to join the Motorsport Enthusiast group. And check me out on all social media channels, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and obviously here on YouTube at The Motorsports Enthusiast.